There were 732 knife crime offences in the 12 months of 2018. That's an estimated 62 a month. Two every day. Two may seem like a small number. So to put that into perspective, in no more than two months, almost everyone in this room will be gone. Imagine you wake up one day and you find out that the person you're sitting next to or your friend across the room has been a victim in an assault. That's how Baroness Doreen Lawrence felt when she found out that her son, Stephen Lawrence, was murdered in a racially motivated attack. His life was over in a second because of the ignorance of some kid thinking carrying a knife makes them bad. Since Stephen's case in 1992, knife crime has risen 43%. Jaden Moody, 14, Nedim Bilin, 17, and Lejon Richards, 19, were all killed as a result of stabbings. Their lives were over because of the ignorance of some kid thinking carrying a knife makes them empowered. <laughs> Sorry, forgotten it, one second. Rathi Kathakamar, 54, was found stabbed to death in his own shop for a few pounds. And 17-year-old Aya Passan was knifed multiple times outside a supermarket. His life was over in a second because of the ignorance of some kid thinking carrying a knife makes them entitled. But with the help of campaigns and charities, such as the YCYF movement and the Knife Free Foundation, we can change that 732 to a zero and prevent people like Aya Passan, David Martinez and Stephen Lawrence from losing their lives. Why wouldn't you want it all to just stop? Thank you.